Hey everyone, it's Enigma Tolls. Um, back again. I'm sorry that I haven't put up anything lately. You know, things have just been getting kind of like action packed. You know, with like school work and everything like that. But the thing is, you know, I, I definitely want to make sure that I'm still, you know, consistent with you guys to make sure that I have post videos out for you all. And I hope you enjoy them. Um, today, I was going to do a review of the Kendra Lamar album and everything a few weeks back. But then, you know, things got heavy. And then I was going to do Lecrae. And uh, I probably still will do those reviews. So definitely be on the lookout for them. But I wanted to talk about uh, Trip Lee's album. Um... Because I know I know this album came out. I know this album came out in March, but the thing is, like for some reason, you know, I always try to make sure that at the end of the year, I make sure I get all the albums that I was intending to listen to or buy. And I bought this one yesterday, even though I mean I've heard it before, but I just never decided about going into detail about you know certain things, things I like and stuff like that. Um. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys today. Um, if you've never heard of Trip Lee, um, he's the he's the rapper dude that um, that uh, be with like Lecrae, Reach Records, Andy Menio, um, Tadashi, and all those guys. Like they um, they do their songs and stuff like that together. But um, Trip Lee, he kind of like stands out to me in a sense because he's more of a of a real lyrical dude and as you guys know from you know my my own music and my own raps and stuff like that I put heavy emphasis on lyrics and I try to make sure that amplifies because that's in my opinion what's the the message behind those lyrics and things like that the things that stand out is what brings people back to it and that kind of, before I go into the review of this album, that's one thing I always want to say about, like, all those dudes that reach records. I've always felt that, like, um, that Trip Lee was, like, the most lyrical. Uh, Lecrae may be the best rapper, but, uh, like, lyric-wise, lyric I think that, like, Trip Lee is just a monster at it. Um, I think Andy Menio, if I'm saying it right, uh, he used to be a uh, C-Light back in the day, um... He 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 is probably the most talented in my opinion because he raps, sing, but when he raps and stuff like that, he does the double timing. Uh, it's just it's amazing. And then like some stuff he says is lyrical too. Like it'll make you think. Like especially in the Cray album where he had said the thing about who's the guy to put the hands in, who makes who's the guy that makes you put your hands in the sky? Me. But who who's the guy who made the sky with his hands? I was like, oh man, too lyrical. But that's another story. Um. What was it? Um, okay. Basically, I, I'll go ahead and tap into this. The The one thing that I will say about this album is the artwork is very creative. The reason why... The, you probably wonder why that big slash of the spray can thing is across his face. Is if you look in the inside, basically there's a song called Robot. And the concept is that um, that we as people become like 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 pretty much drones to society and what society wants us to do but he's saying that he's not a robot because he's he found Christ and you know his heart belongs to Christ and gives him freedom and that's one thing that sticks out to me too you know because of my faith and everything like that and how you know he's he's he articulates everything his lyrics is just plug out to that and you know of course now the thing is I don't really necessarily consider like a lot of people will call it like Christian hip hop, but to me it just sounds like hip hop and a dude that just happens to be a Christian. And you know, like like M said, you know, music is reflection of self. So basically, he's just you know reflecting his his lifestyle and everything out into his lyrics and stuff like that, and using it to um, bring people closer to Christ and everything like that. You know, which is. Which is technically, you know, just hip hop in my opinion. It doesn't sound like Christian hip hop because, in my opinion, Christian hip hop is like, to me, it's too, um, it's too set out to be more impressive or to look down on other genres as if they're bad when they're really not. It's just, you know, you know, he just loves Christ and he's humble about it, and and that's that's a great thing about it too, um, but. Some of my favorite songs on here is obviously Robot. New Dreams is dope. I'm good. I've, that one's addictive. 
Uh, Fallen's real good. That's that's an amazing one. Um, know me. I like the the sample and that's pretty nice. Uh, 116 with the Andy Menial track. If you ever heard that, check that video out. Like it's super dope. Uh, 116. Remember that. Um, heart problem. That that one has a probably the best solid message in a song I've heard in a long time. So if you if you haven't never heard um, heart problem, Trip Lee, check that out. Check that out. Um, Take Me There is pretty good. Beautiful Life, you know, it's talking about like the the topic of abortions and, um, you know, and you know those kind of things and situations. So definitely tap into that if you're into the into those kind of topics. Love on Display, Andy Menio proves exactly what I was saying about the whole um, the the talent thing where he where he has this singing ability that's just amazing. But then you forget that it's him because of his rapping. It's crazy. Like it just it inspires me to get better with my singing, which which isn't really as good. But uh, anywho, uh, for my good, it's really good, very good. Um, good thing he wrote that song about his wife. Um, basically, if you guys don't know, Trip Lee is twenty four years old right now, currently twenty four years old, and uh, I think he got married when he was twenty two or something like that. Yeah. And, you know, a, a lot of, like, people ask, you know, why did he get married so young? And he kind of, and, you know, a lot, and a lot of people don't, like, I guess don't understand that, like, mar marriage is a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not, it's not a prison sentence. It's not, you know, the end of the world or nothing like that. It's, it's, it's a blessing. But the thing is, I think that it becomes a problem when people put out their their hearts and desires in a sense to get married or to to be loved by someone when really you know you got to change your heart first before you you know you necessarily can maintain a blessing like that which is marriage you know so i mean i'm i'm with it you know i'm just in that and plus you never know when when that time is for you and and when you're ready, when you're ready, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's one thing that goes into him being very lyrical. It's the fact of, like, his wisdom that shows through God's grace, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's amazing, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it's definitely something for me, for me as a young man to, you know, look up to, which is great, you know what I'm saying? And I think that it, it, it's, it's definitely helpful to any hip-hop lover. I don't care... If you're Christian or not, if you're um, if you're if you're for his music or not, like this right here is great music just for hip hop. It's a breath of fresh air, and we need a lot of that nowadays. A lot of it. Um, the only thing I can really think of that just kind of like wasn't really sitting well with me is uh beat selection wasn't necessarily always its best, but still a good album. I'll probably give it about. Um. Uh, yeah, probably about eight point five out of ten, and that's probably one of the highest that I've had this whole year. So be on the lookout for that. And also, I will have um. I will be posting more freestyles. Well, more freestyles, more um material and stuff of my own music on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And um. I shall be posting them very soon. I'm very excited about the new stuff I'm writing. And, you know, I, 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 I'm, I really do hope, you know what I'm saying, that you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. And uh, till next time, see you later. Peace.